friends welcome back it has been a hot minute since i have been <sighs> but i have posted a video because like the title says i got the rona um it has been about four weeks since i actually had it so i'm for the most part fully recovered um I still can't taste or smell anything though, which is really, really frustrating, especially because I love to cook and I love fall candles and it is currently fall and I can't smell any fall candles. <laughs> it's making me a little frustrated. Um, <clears throat> but I just kind of wanted to give you guys an update. I actually have my DIY fall home decor video that I was gonna post, but I felt like I just wanted to catch you guys up a little bit since it's been a couple weeks. And it's just been a little bit crazy. Also, I know that COVID, the topic of COVID can be very controver controversial, but I, this is going to be the most not controversial conversation, hopefully, <laughs> because I really just want to share with you guys my experience being eight months pregnant and having COVID because when I had it, I was just... I was very confident that I'd be able to make it through okay because I'm very young and I am really healthy for the most part, but um, it was still kind of scary because it just felt very unpredictable at the time. Okay, so this is what happened. So we went to a cabin with some friends and when we got back, Brayden started having these allergy-like symptoms. And, you know, it's harvest time, so we just kind of thought that, oh, he has allergies. That's totally normal. But then he started to feel really, really super tired. And so, I am so out of breath. <laughs> That's another thing. Like, I don't know if it's, like, COVID after effects or if it's just pregnancy. Because, actually, they're like, do you have body aches? I'm like, check. Do you have brain fog? Check. Do you have shortness of breath? <laughs> Check. <laughs> Sounds like pregnancy. But anyways, so Brayden started to feel really super tired and um, just like a few other symptoms. I can't remember what they were. So we're like, let's just go get checked just in case so we can be safe. Don't get anyone else sick. And um, so he went and got tested and sure enough, he had it. So we all went into quarantine and um, I started to feel really tired at first. Like, you think you're tired when you're pregnant, but then when you have code on top of it, it's like you have to take two naps a day. You are so tired. And even like getting up to get myself food, I felt like I was too tired to do. It was so bizarre. So um, I kind of felt like I had gotten COVID at that time too. We did not quarantine away from each other because we live in a small house it's kind of impossible and um it's kind of just inevitable that we're all gonna get it so we're like okay well this is our chance to get it and get it over with so we didn't quarantine from each other and um at first i was like okay this is not that bad my symptoms are not that crazy but then they started coming in waves. So I would feel okay one day, and then the next day I would feel like 10 times worse. So, um, okay, this is really hard. Let me do my eyebrows really quick. So for the first little while, I mostly just felt a little bit achy and tired. So I was like, okay, it's all gonna be fine. It's not that bad. And that went on for about four days. I was just tired and a little bit achy. The really interesting thing was is that I didn't have a cold of any kind really. And I felt like I constantly needed to cough. Like my chest felt really heavy. And um, I was like, shoot, this is kind of weird because you think that you would feel that way if you were like super, super congested and then it would like go to your lungs or something. But it felt really just out of the blue to all of a sudden have a super tight chest like I would yawn and I it would just like 
I don't know, it felt like my lungs were just like, ugh, like squeezing and I'd be like, ugh, ugh, ugh. and that, I had that for probably two weeks after and then it finally went away. Um, so I was just taking a lot of vitamins, a lot of uh, vitamin C and just trying to eat semi-healthy. It was hard to make myself meals, but luckily we had a lot of family and friends bring us stuff. So that was very much appreciated, huge blessing. Okay, so then I started to get the tightness in my chest. And then for about four more days after that, I had a fever and really, really bad body aches. Like my fingers hurt because <laughs> I was so achy. <laughs> And I just laid in bed and luckily by the time that I kind of um, was feeling bad, Braden was kind of over everything for the most part and he was able to take care of the kids while I recovered a little bit. So that was a huge blessing. I'm glad we didn't get it really bad all together at once because that would have been completely miserable surprisingly though ezra our little one-year-old he got it the worst out of all of us we ended up having to take him in to an instant care and because he couldn't breathe like i don't know if you guys remember on my other channel but um i'm so out of breath <sighs> i am 35 weeks pregnant though so it's probably that um because i don't have covid anymore <clears throat> Anyways, um, you know, they've been saying that like kids don't really get it as much, but I guess with the new variant, kids are being more affected by it. So I was very surprised when Ezra could not breathe and we had to take him in, but luckily we have been through that before with Talmadge. I mean, not luckily, but I'm glad we had a, I, I guess it was good to use our experience to help Ezra because we knew that we needed to take him in because he was just wheezing and wheezing and they gave him a steroid shot and then he was fine after that. Overall, COVID sucked. Um, we were very fortunate to be able to get through it okay. I know that a lot of, there are some pregnant women that um, have really bad side effects after they have COVID, but um, luckily baby girl is just kicking strong and she's doing so good. And um, the hardest thing for me has been regaining my energy. I A lot of people say after they have COVID, they just feel so tired for a long time. So that on top of being pregnant has been hard because when I nest, I get like crazy urges to nest. And I don't feel like I've been able to do that because I am just so stinking tired all the time. <laughs> I clean one bathroom and I'm like, okay, I have to take a break. Um, so that's been hard, but um, I feel really blessed that we made it through okay. Because I am pregnant and I don't feel like it's been tested enough on pregnant women. And I didn't feel like I wanted to do to put something in my body that I didn't know how my baby would react to it. And also it just hasn't set well with me yet. I'm not saying it won't ever, but as of right now, I'm doing what feels best for me and my family. And I hope that you do the same, whether you choose to get vaccinated or not. I hope you like pray about it, consult with your doctor about it and do whatever you need to. But that's where I, have been standing and um i don't think anyone should feel shame about the decisions they make so it's your body and i think that you should do what feels best so anyways i gotta run gotta take my to preschool so thanks for watching and we'll see you guys in my next video bye